Okay. So let's try this one now. So balance the equation, then calculate the number of grams of carbon dioxide formed when 4.30 moles of propane react with oxygen. Okay? So the first thing we want to do is balance the equation, obviously. We want to balance it in that order. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So there's three carbons over here, and there's only one carbon over here. So we're going to have to multiply one times something to equal three. Right? So what is times one? That's going to be three. Right? So we put a three there. Okay? So there's three and three. That's balance. Now we've got eight hydrogens here and only two here. So what times two equals eight? Four. Right? So now we've got eight over there and eight over there. So now we want to come over here and figure out our number of oxygens, right? So we got four here plus two times three, that's six. So we got ten here, right? We only got two here. So what times two equals ten? Five. Five. That was an easy one. Sorry, guys. Should have made it a little harder one than that. But whatever. So we got our equation balance. Okay? So now, let's figure out what this thing is saying. So balance the equation and calculate the number of grams. So we want to figure out the number of grams, so the mass of carbon dioxide form, when 4.30 moles of propane react with oxygen. So remember, in the chemical equation, why do we care about balancing it? Because it gives us the ratio of the number of moles. Okay? So we have a... 1 to 5 to 3 to 4 ratio of number of moles. The ones that we care about, of course, are this or this, right? We care about this 1 to 3 ratio there, okay? Because it's asking us this to that, okay? That's the 1 to 3. So, first thing we want to do is figure out the number of moles of carbon dioxide we have. How do we do that? Number of moles of carbon dioxide equals the number of moles of propane, which is 4.30 moles, moles of C3HA, that's propane. You guys haven't figured that out, let me say that. Three moles of CO2.
cancel out the number of moles. 12.9 times 44.01. Yeah, unless you want to put it in kilograms or something. But I guess it asks the number of grams, so.